Welcome back to the channel and I got, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So tonight we are going to be working on the Fiat 500T. If you guys are new to the channel, haven't seen this car before, this is a 2015 Fiat 500T. It's basically the model right below the A-Birth. It has the power and everything of an A-Birth without the big brakes and everything like that. So it is actually a very unique uh, setup to have. Um, I don't know how many of them were sold, but I know I look all the time on the streets and I barely ever see any of them. So this car already has a Euro Compulsion tune. Uh, it already has a uh, short Ram intake that's up in the engine bay, which is a hot air intake. It does have the uh, CFP intercooler. Uh, tonight we are going with a set of KYB uh, shocks and struts, a set of Nuff lowering springs from Germany. It's supposed to drop the car 1.5 in the front and 1.9 in the rear. We have a new set of rotors for the front because these things are completely worn out. Uh, we have an ATM cold air ram intake which goes down in the front bumper and utilizes these two vent holes uh, that the OEM intercoolers used to set in. If you guys go back and watch the old video, uh, you'll see that there's twin front intercoolers that go in those, those holes right there. Uh, of course, with the front mount intercooler upgrade, it gets rid of that. I also already put the brackets on. Uh, if you guys paid attention in the video when I did the intercooler install, these brackets we didn't have. They got sent to us right after it. And uh, the biggest thing with the Fiat is that it's actually just got back from the paint shop. Uh, there was a minor fender bender on the uh, driver front. Uh, this headlight was smashed. This fender was smashed. Uh, we took it to a local paint and body guy and uh, he fixed the whole front end for us, repainted everything so the front of the car looks immaculate. So we want to make sure that it's safe and ready to go. So here is the old brakes and old suspension on this side. And then if we walk over to this side, I already did the, the front just to uh, make sure I have all the tools out and everything ready. And uh, here's the new rotors, the new struts, the new springs. Uh, the rear is done as well on this side. So we are mainly going to be focusing on the other side for suspension. And then the front over here for the cold air intake. So what we have right here is the ATM cold air ram intake. Yes, this is a cute little velocity stack that goes inside the filter. Here's the pipe that comes off the front of the turbo, goes down into the fender. Here's all the things we need to move this canister. Here's the fill for the canister. This kit is very uh, involved and they supply you with everything you need. Um, but before we get to that, let me get to finishing the brakes and suspension. I'm going to put you guys on the head cam on a time lapse and uh, get to doing all of the suspension and brakes on this car so that we can actually get ready to autocross. My brother's never been autocrossing before, so he had messaged the local autocross association and asked what he needed to do to his car. And because of how tall and awkwardly shaped the Fiat is, they told him he has to at least have a set of lowering springs on it before they would allow him to autocross. I actually ran into the same problem with the Juke at autocrosses. They told me stock height, they could not autocross it because it was too top heavy. So let's get right into it. Let's get it dropped almost two inches. Let's get some new rotors on the front, get some shocks and struts on it, and then we'll get to the performance side. So to the head cam we go.
All right, guys, so you see I have the headlight out. I still have the bumper off and everything from doing the brakes and the uh, lowering springs and new shocks and struts. But we also have the ATA, ATM intake cold air from the fender, and we have the Forge Motorsports wastegate. I already installed the wastegate. It was actually very simple. It is two 10 millimeter bolts right here, 10 millimeter bolts. And then there's one clip under here. And all you literally do is just pull the factory one out. You have to, well, I had to remove this bolt right here or this clip and bend this water line up a little bit just to get the old one out. Uh, it's very simple. I didn't film it just because I wanted to see how easy or hard it really was. Um, and then you just retain the factory vacuum line, plug it back in. You want a little bit of pull on this so you can see it's rather tight uh, to keep the wastegate pulled shut. And then I got to installing the uh, ATM cold air. This kit is absolutely hilarious. It is probably the smallest velocity stack I have ever seen. For reference, my, my hand, look at this velocity stack. Uh, I believe this is like a little one and seven eighths or two inch velocity stack. Uh, because we already had an intake on this car, which is right here, uh, I'll show you the, the key differences. So before your intake went right up here, sat over top of the intake manifold and literally just collected all the heat from the engine bay. So you know these little turbos, these little T14s, they get real hot uh, and they start baking the engine bay really bad. Uh, Fiat's are known for misfires. They're known for issues like that. Really high air intake temps. So what this intake does is it pulls the cold air from down there in the bottom of the bumper. Uh, it supplies you with the velocity stack, the pipe, uh, the, the thing to run to your EVAP, the pipe are here to run to your factory charcoal box, and then the uh, vacuum source off the intake pipe before the turbo. Uh, it also makes you relocate your uh, windshield sprayer. So your factory windshield sprayer looks like this, 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt. Those two bolts are actually one right here and one right here. You just pop those off. Uh, this tray comes with this little canister uh, and it comes with this pipe and it comes with this reservoir, comes with the brackets, it comes with everything. This is a very, very, very good kit. Uh, gives you a little cap. So all you have to do, you pull this front motor mount bolt out right here out of the top mount. Uh, you bolt this two together, it comes with all the hardware. You run this little clear tube. You basically hook it up and then to get the wiring to reach all the way down here because the factory one isn't up as high. All you have to do is literally just pull the lumo part a little bit and you can see that it reaches with no problem it doesn't hit anything and this doesn't hit anything as well it comes with all the clamps comes with the hoses you can see there's extra hose right there there's extra hose over there that we didn't need because we already had an intake kit on this car so you mount this actually to the factory like bumper supports two bolts right here those are 14 millimeters uh if you were wondering so you just need a 10, the 14. The easiest way, I was trying to do it without pulling the headlight and it was a super pain, but the headlight is literally 110, 110, 110, and you just pop the headlight out and it is literally only one clip. Uh, another cool thing this kit comes with, which I haven't seen many other kits, is the K&N with the water sock. Uh, and it actually fits very well onto that velocity stack. I think this will be at least you know, seven to 10 wheel horsepower more than that hot air intake and stop heat soak by a ton. Uh, and it also looks much greater and you're gonna have much better sound coming from the front instead of the hot engine bay. And you don't have to delete your windshield sprayer. That's probably the coolest part of this kit. So now let me get this car back together. Let me finish tightening everything up and put it on the ground so we can see how it looks with the new lowering springs and we can hear how it sounds with the new intake. Let's have a moment of silence for the once four wheel drive Fiat 500.
I hope I can get it off the lift. Oh, yeah. No problem. Nope, I lied. We're gonna have to. Yep. Lift leg is stuck up in there. Now let's see. Nope. There we go. Oh. Two finger fitment. Two finger fitment. Not bad. Number one safety tip after you touch the brakes, always make sure to pump them up before you start the car and start trying to drive. I've pumped it about six or seven times now and have a decently hard pedal. Now let's see. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but it literally sounds like the juke now. It's <laughs> so good. Oh, the headlights are so much better now. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but uh, when I first aimed the headlights a long time ago, uh, you really couldn't see anything. And these are projector headlights, so you should be able to see pretty well. The tire light went away. 33, 37, 34, 33. Not bad for just guessing with the gauge. Not very accurate gauge. Oh, this thing sounds good. And uh, it's definitely a lot more direct and steering feel. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the house and uh, now that we drove it, let's see how much it settled. And I'll turn the garage lights on so we can get a better picture shut her off and let's see if all of our work was worth it oh yeah she's a lot lower my brother is definitely gonna hate it but oh, there goes a GoPro on the ground she looks so much better let's turn the light on so we can see Oh yeah. Two fingers. Two fingers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about the Fiat, and uh, apparently our next mods are gonna be figuring out how the boost uh, control works with that Forge Motorsports wastegate. Um, but this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until the next one, you guys are the greatest.